Hey guys, welcome back, it's Anna. Okay, so I wanted to do a quick little unboxing for you. I haven't quite decided if I'm actually going to post this, but I wanted to put my review out there for anybody who is interested in this fountain pen. I splurged on getting this. It was on my wish list for a long time. It's been on there for uh, years. And you know what? I'm going to be honest. I was grieving. Uh, my grandmother had just passed away and I felt like I wanted to buy something. I'm a stress shopper. But uh, I did still think about this for a good three or four days before buying it. And I'm glad I did. I haven't actually used it yet, but I thought I would just set it up for you and just kind of give you an, an initial review of what I think about it. Because when I researched this and I watched videos, there were a few complaints which I will address and I'll tell you what I think about. So in case what you're wondering, this is about, it is the Kabaku, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, German made fountain pen, Lilliput Brass. Um, not in that order, it's a Lilliput Brass Kabaku fountain pen. This is tiny, it comes in this little bag in this tin. And I'm very happy with the size. Uh, a lot of people in their uh, reviews mentioned how tiny it is. I have small hands. I'm a small person. I'm a very petite person. And I don't find the size to be at all bothersome. And I wanted the brass because I wanted something that will age with use. It's a different, it's a lighter kind of brass yellow tone compared to say like the Traveler's Notebook brass clip and then the Traveler's Notebook brass pen case and it's very sleek it's very sturdy very small I mean this is going to be durable and it's very polished so you twist it open and that's what keeps it secure. And then you're gonna see at the back here that there's little ridges here that you can twist it onto the back to kind of extend it. A lot of people were complaining also that it takes a while for you to unhinge it, uh, to open. For me, it takes three, one, two, three, which I don't see as you know, being as bothersome as our people are making it out to be. My Eco Twisby fountain pen actually takes longer to twist open than it does this. So when you extend it, this is kind of how it looks on my hand. So for scale on this notebook, that's how large my hand is. Um, for something that's a little bit more familiar, this is a regular standard traveler's notebook. That's how big my hand is. And that's how it holds on my hand. The weight is not very heavy at all. I've had a heavier pen and I don't find it to be small at all to hold. It's very comfortable for my hand. And it's very petite. You can buy a clip for it, which I think for a lot of people, that's another thing is that it just tends to roll. That's not gonna bother me because I'm not gonna be taking it anywhere anytime soon. And I don't really have plans to buy a clip for it. All right, so to open it up, you just unscrew it from here where you hold it. And then in the back, you're gonna have a cartridge. Kovaku pens always come with one cartridge. It's always blue, which is not my favorite color. Um, I actually went ahead and purchased as well the Kaveku, um Summer Purple cartridges. And then what I also did was um, I decided to invest in some ink syringes. So when these are emptied and used, I can save these and refill it with my own ink because this does not come with a refillable cartridge or a refillable converter. Um, it's just too small, too um, petite. So there's not a whole lot of room in it. And um, I'm not a fan of blue ink for some reason. Um, I just tend not to journal in it very much. 
So I do enjoy purple ink. We're gonna see what the quality of this is. And how you do this is you just take this where you see that little ball and you're gonna see a little nub there. And what you do is you just kind of pop it in. You're gonna hear that snap. And then you twist it closed. And then there we go. Um, this is not any sort of paper that I could reference for you, I suppose. Um, this, this is just some random craft paper notebook that I got from Amazon, or not Amazon, Michaels. I'm just gonna test it out. Oh, writes right away. That's what it looks like on white paper. This is just a crossword sheet. So this is the, oh, spelled that wrong. It's smooth. In case I didn't mention it, I got the medium nib for this fountain pen. That's what I prefer. It's got a great weight to it. Let's see how it does on this craft paper. Oh, it's very smooth. So it's the Kuwaku. I know some people could pronounce it Kuwaku, Kuwaku. I think in German, the W is pronounced V. Brass fountain pen. It's lovely. I very much enjoy the smoothness of this nib. So that's what it looks like. Oh, I'm very happy with this purchase. So there we have it, my short little unboxing review of this. It comes with this little sticker, I guess I didn't really cover that, and then just like the history of the company in here. And yeah, so this is a purchase I do not regret. It's just a lovely little investment piece. I've been wanting this for a long time, so that is uh, one that I will enjoy using. And as I think you guys know, I definitely am gonna reuse this tin. You can pop this out. And you can use this for storing all sorts of fun little things. Um, I think that's all I have in terms of my initial opinion on this fountain pen. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, or if you're just curious about how it uses over time, um, definitely let me know. Maybe I can come back on and just kind of talk about it. but. Initial impression, I am very happy with the quality of how it writes. It's very smooth. It's a good weight. It's comfortable to hold. It's beautiful to look at. This is just going to look great on my desk, along with all my different little antique and brass elements on my desk. So it's just a wonderful little fountain pen to have, and I am very, very happy that I got it. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.